Now, when I say metrics, it is said, actually, it's a collection of data. It arranged in a particular order. For example, let's imagine a shopkeeper who is selling two items, shirts and they say trousers. Only two items they are selling. In the month of Jan, he sold, let's say 25 and 15. In month of Feb, he sold 30 and 40. In month of March, he sold, let's say 50 and 17. What I've shown you this data, it is a data arranged in a square bracket with the specific positions. For example, if I write this shopkeeper A, for shopkeeper B, if I write the data like this, 10, 12, 14, 13, 7, 2, I don't have to say what this stands for. Naturally, it is a number of shirts sold in the month of Jan. This position data will always stand for the number of trousers sold in the month of January. This will stand, 14 stands for the number of shirts sold in the month of February, et cetera, et cetera. So every position that you see in this matrix, it corresponds to some meaning. So if I am suppose saying two metrics, okay, let me denote what are the notation used in a matrix. First of all, we denote matrix by capital letters and elements by the same method that we applied in determinants. <coughs> in determinants, it was compulsory that number of rows and number of columns were equal because Determinants have a value. Every determinant is used for some purpose of calculating a value, remembering a formula, learning a formula, etc. But metrics is nothing but data. It is data of different calculation that is required. Now, this is a three by three matrix. It has got three rows and three columns. The same notation. A, I, J, what does it mean? It belongs to I, I to row and J column. Okay, column. That same notation stands here also. But do not think that metrics and determinants are equal. They are not same stuff. They are entirely different stuff. In determinants, we have value. In metrics, there's no value. It's only a collection of data. Okay. Now, when can I say two metrics are equal? when I can say two metrics are equal. First of all, they should be of the same order. If it has got three rows, two rows and three columns, B also should have three columns and two rows. Secondly, every element here, corresponding element should be the same. Then only we can say the metrics are equal. So what are the conditions for two metrics to be equal? First, they should be of the same, same order. And second condition, the corresponding element should be equal. You understood the meaning of corresponding element? Yes, sir. Then only the two metrics can be equal. There are two different types of metrics. If you have only one column, then it is called a column matrix. If it has got only one row. Row matrix. It is called a row matrix. Then if the number of rows and number of columns are equal, then we call it a square matrix. It's called a square matrix. Two by two square matrix, three by three square. Three by three. You can have any number of row, any number of columns, so there is no restriction like both rows and columns should always be equal. Second point, if all elements of the matrix are zeros, it is called either a zero matrix or it is called a null matrix. And the letter O denoted 
So if I write O three by three, automatically it means zero 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 zero. Then comes another name. So first I told you column matrix, row matrix, square matrix, square matrix. then null matrix. Now we'll look at the next one. If I have all the diagonal elements, okay, non-diagonal elements zeros. It should be a square matrix also. A square matrix whose all non-diagonal elements are zero is called a diagonal matrix. So what are the conditions satisfied by a di diagonal matrix? First condition, it should be a square matrix. So all non-diagonal elements should be zero. Now look at this way I'm going to write it. A i j equal to zero whenever i not equal to j. Do you understand the statement? No. What do you mean by i j, row number and column number, no? Yes, sir. When row number and column number become equal, they become diagonal elements. They are the diagonal elements. Okay, huh. understood, sir. So when row number and column number are not equal, they are the non-diagonal elements. Non-diagonal elements. So the non-diagonal elements are, should be zero. Could you follow this? Yes, sir. Okay, now next point. If all the diagonal elements all become equal and non-diagonal elements all become zero, it is called a scalar matrix. Scalar matrix. So what will be the definition? A I, I, J should not be equal to zero. A, I, J are all equal, are equal to each other. If I equal to J, all okay. diagonal elements are all equal to each other if I equal to J. And A, I, J equal to zero whenever I is not equal to J. Understood the idea? Hmm. All diagonal elements are equal. How to speak all diagonal elements are equal? They are the elements so psi and j number are equal. Row number and column number are equal. And they all should be equal. Second, this is most interesting. All the diagonal elements are one. And non-diagonal elements are zero. What is this? A i j equal to one if i equal to j. And a i j equal to zero if i not equal I to j. Not equal to j. Then this matrix is called a identity matrix. It's called an identity matrix. And we denote the letter i for this. So this is an identity matrix of three by three. You can also have an identity matrix of two by two. It will be one zero zero one. Understood that all diagonal elements should be one. These are the most important types of matrix. There is also upper triangular matrix. What does upper triangular matrix means? Above the below the diagonal are all zeros. All the elements below the diagonal at zero are called upper triangular matrix. That means A i j is equal to zero if i is greater than j. Very interesting, no? Just have a look at this. I didn't write. Okay. Just look at this, uh, what I'm explaining. What are the elements here? A11. A11. A12. A12. A13. A21, A22, A23, A31, A32, A33. Do you understand? Hmm. What do you notice about this? What do you notice about this three elements? If the I row is number greater. is greater than the column number. I is greater than J. Okay. Hmm. Then if all of them are zero, all these three cases, I is greater than J. And all other cases, I is not greater than J. So 
upper triangular matrix, what you'll notice is a i j will be zero if i is greater than j. Okay. In in lower triangular matrix, a i j will be zero if come on, tell me. What you can say about these elements? I is less than j. I is less than j. Did you follow that? So yes. lower triangular elements, what what upper triangular elements, which is zero? The lower elements below the diagonal. In lower triangular matrix, what is zero? Lower triangular matrix, what is zero? The upper elements, upper elements. where I is smaller than J. It is ulta. Upper ke liye lower zero hoga. Lower ke liye upper zero hoga. All of you followed? Yes, yes sir. Can we write down all yes, these definitions which I have given you? Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay. First, write down definitions. A set of MN elements arranged in M rows and N columns is called a matrix uh, within a square bracket. So, within a square bracket. is called matrix of order m by n you will write m into n but read as what m by by n, n. read as m by n a set of m n elements arranged in m rows and n columns within a square bracket is called a matrix of order m by n Example two three one one zero two. There's a matrix of order what? How many rows are there? Uh three no, no. two rows. Two, two by three. Row R C. Row is first and column is second. Okay. Write another one. One, two, minus one. Three rows and one column. One zero one. Two rows, one row and two columns. I hope you understood. Then notations. What are the notations we use? We write like this: A is equal to A I J. Let's say two by three. If I write like this, it is automatically understood. It is a matrix. It has got two rows and three columns. So it is automatically understood. A I J two by three means like this. Suppose I write a i j two by three, three by two. It means three it has rows three rows. A one one, a one two, a two one, a two two, a three one, a three two. Understood. All of you have written this much? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Next definition. Yeah, next definition. Types of matrix. First, you can say row matrix. A 
a matrix having only one row is called a row matrix. One, two, three. One, three. Column matrix. A matrix having only one column. Three, four, one. Then one, two. Square matrix. Number of rows equal to number of columns. Number of columns. For example, two by two or three by three, with any number you feel like. It's called square matrix. Fine. Yes, sir. So this all all on number of rows and number of columns, row, column, square matrix. Now we come based on the elements. First thing is null matrix. Or zero matrix. It is denoted by by letter O or zero, whatever you feel. O two by two means, yeah. Mandana wants the previous page. Okay. Yeah, zero matrix. All elements are zeros. O three by three means all elements are zeros. So if I want to write as a definition, I'll say a zero matrix is zero A I J, where A I J is zero for all I and J. Understood my mathematical way of writing? A I J is zero for all I and J. Understood? Yes, sir. Yeah. This is a definition, actually. Then what do you have to do after zero matrix? Diagonal matrix. Diagonal matrix are first of all square matrix. There should be a square matrix first of all. Otherwise, we don't call it a diagonal matrix. And also, A, I, J will be zero if I not equal to J. This actual definition. So if I write diagonal matrix like this, A, 5, 0, 0, 0, 2, 0. This is called a diagonal matrix. Another example, B, 2, 0, 0, 0. This is also diagonal. Is it diagonal? Is it satisfying this condition? No, sir. The diagonal, because it is satisfying the condition whenever I and J are not equal. What is A, 1, 1 year? 2. A, 2, 2 year is 0. But is so it, it satisfying? It can be 0, sir. In yeah. the diagonal position. Yes, it can be 0. You don't say that diagonal elements are non zero. What is this? Non diagonal elements are zeros. Okay. So the condition is non diagonal elements are zeros, not diagonal elements are zeros. So uh, what about uh, diagonal elements? They can be any number. 
Is it fine? Yes, sir. Have you written? Yeah. Yes, sir. So a diagonal matrix is a square matrix whose non-diagonal elements are zeros. Whose non-diagonal, non-diagonal elements are zeros. Remember, this is not diagonal element. Eh? This is not diagonal. Eh? Only this is diagonal. A, I, J, I equal to J are called diagonal. I and J should be equal. Then they are called diagonal elements. A, I, J, I equal to J are called diagonal elements. Is it fine? Can I change the page? Can I page change the page? Yes. Okay. Now we come to scalar matrix. What is the speciality of scalar matrix? They'll be like this. 5, 0, 0, 0, 5, 0, 0, 0, 5. What you noticed? Three All diagonal elements are same. Yeah. So diagonal elements are are all equal, and non-diagonal elements are zero. Elements are zeros, and it should be a square matrix, sir. Eh? A square matrix. in which diagonal elements are equal and non-diagonal elements are zero. That is, A, I, J are all equal, are equal if I equal to J. A, I, J equal to zero if I not equal to J. Then comes the unit matrix. Another name for it is identity matrix. So it is a scalar matrix where all diagonals are one. So it's a square matrix in which diagonal elements are one. And non diagonal elements are zero. Example one zero zero one, one zero 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 one zero 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 one. And we denote this by letter I. This I two by two. This I three by three. So wherever you see I, it denotes diagonal or unit matrix. Wherever you see zero, it denotes zero matrix. Uh, next one is a triangular matrix. Upper, upper triangular. triangular. Upper triangular matrix. Upper triangular matrix. So this is also a square matrix. A square matrix in which the elements above the diagonal, diagonal are all zeros. How do you write it? It is written as a i j equal to zero or below the diagonal, not above, below. Below the diagonal are zero. A i j equal to zero if i is greater than j. Example, five, two, one, zero, one, three, zero, zero, two. This is an upper triangular matrix. All the elements below the diagonal are zero are called upper triangular matrix.
what will be the lower triangle matrix aij is equal to 0 when i is less than j Over triangular matrix. That is, it is a equal to a i j. It should be m by m. That means number of rows and number of columns should be equal. And a i j should be zero if i is less than j, or j is greater than i. Example. Two zero zero one three zero zero two one zero or one. So elements above the diagonal are zeros. Then we call it as lower triangular matrix. What are the transpose of a matrix? You have written a matrix as square matrix. So first of all, I have written a square matrix, but transpose can be in square or non-square. It doesn't matter. What you have to do is, the first row will become first column. Second row will become second column. Third row becomes third column. This is known as transpose of a matrix. Take the transpose of a matrix means. Interchange the rows and columns. So transpose of a matrix is obtained by interchanging rows and columns. What do you say? Transpose of a matrix is obtained by by interchanging interchanging rows and columns. Okay. Then, for example, A is one, two, three, minus one, four, three, four, five. How will you write A transpose? One, two, three will become uh, minus one, one and five. So, if A is of order two by three, A transpose will be of order three by two. Three by two. Is it fine? Yes, sir. Okay. Now we go to the next. Everybody has written that. Yes, sir. Then I am going to teach you what is symmetric matrix. If A I J is equal to A J I, then the matrix. Capital A, A I J, is a symmetric matrix. Can anybody tell the meaning of this by this definition? For all, for all I J. What is the meaning of that? Three, Even when you four, interchange the uh, rows and the columns, you get the same thing which right. was earlier. That is one way of speaking. Very good. Three, four, seven, four, two, nine, seven, nine, three, or two. I'll put one. What did you notice? If I keep a mirror here, let me see on the diagonal elements. I kept a mirror. See, do you see the images are same? Yes, sir. What do you call this element? A one two. What do you call this element? A two. A one. So A one two and A two one are equal. A one three and A three one are equal. A two three and A three two are equal. That is why we call A i j is equal to A j i. If you interchange the row number and column number, the value of the elements are same. In such type of matrix, what you notice? What do you notice in this set of name? 
A and A transpose will be equal. In a symmetric matrix, if you transpose the matrix and if you don't transpose the matrix, both will remain the same. A and A transpose will be equal. Understood symmetric matrix, everybody? Yes, sir. Yeah. Have you written? Or no, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Skew symmetric matrix. When do you say matrix A, I, J is Q symmetric? If A, I, J is minus A, J, I, A, I, J should be equal to minus A, J, I, for all I, J, for all I and J. Look at this. Zero, two, minus one. Minus two, zero, four, one, minus four, zero. Check whether it's satisfying the condition. A one one is equal to minus A one one. A one two is minus A two one. A one three is minus A three one. Then A, uh, what is that term? A two two is minus A two two. A two three is minus a three two is it correct or wrong a one one zero zero is equal to minus zero do you agree agree or don't agree mm, yes sir correct, no then mm. a one two here is two equal to minus two minus of minus two ah, minus of minus two correct that will become two itself so it's equal yes a one three minus one is equal to minus of A31. A22, zero. A23, equal to minus zero. A23, A234, equal to minus of minus four, A32. Is it satisfying or not satisfying? Satisfying, sir. So what do you notice in a skew matrix, skew symmetric matrix, diagonals will be zero. Compulsory it has to be zero. And the reflections will be opposite sign. The reflections will be opposite sign. Do you agree with that? It's a reflection yes. opposite. It's a reflection opposite. It's a reflection opposite. Such a matrix is called a skew symmetric matrix. What will be the relation between A and A transpose here? If I call this as A, if I take the transpose of it, it will be the negative of the elements. A will be equal to minus A transpose. All the elements will be multiplied with a negative sign. Then take transpose. The signs will change. change of each element. Yeah. System also will change and sign also changes. A equal to minus A transpose. Then the skew symmetric, then the matrix A is a skew symmetric matrix. Is it clear to you? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Now we'll do some problems based on this. Are you ready to learn something? Some question? Finished writing? Okay. Have one minute. Yeah. Okay, let's do a problem. Construct a matrix. Construct a matrix of order two by two. That means two rows and two columns, where A i j is defined as i plus j the whole square divided by two plus i. So I want to construct an element. First, A two by two matrix. So what are the elements in two by two matrix? A one one, A one two, A two one, A two four. Now, how, do, how is A11 defined? I'm going to define each one. A11 is defined as I plus J the whole square divided by 2 plus I. So here I is 1, J is 1. So 1 plus 1 the whole square upon 2 plus 1. 
that is 2 by 2. How do you define a 1, 2? Come on, tell me. It's 1 plus 2 the whole square uh, divided by 2 plus 1. 2 plus 1. That became 9 by 3. That is 3. Then a 2, 1. So I became 2 and j became 1. So 2, two plus, plus one, 1 the whole, the whole square. square. 2 plus 2 it will become. 9 by 4. Then comes A22. Two, two. It became 2 plus 2 the whole square upon 2 plus 2. Then what do you get the answer? So over here. Yeah. 2 plus 1 it is written in denominator. 2 plus i A2 that is. A2 I know it is. I, I is how much here? I is 2 now. Okay. Here I is how much in 2, 2? Two. I is 2 again. Okay. So 4, 16 by 4 it is... It will be 4, four itself. So if I denote this matrix by A, so A is equal to A11, 1, 1, 4 by 3. A12, 3. A21, 9 by 4. A22, 2, 4. So this is my answer. Did you understand how to calculate the elements? Yes, sir. Okay. So any question you can do of this kind without my help, no? Yes, sir. Just row number yes, and column number you substitute, calculate the elements and substitute in the position. Find value of k if the matrix 4, 3, 1, 7, k, 1, 10, 9, 1. Matrix is square, square bracket eh? is singular. When do you say matrix is singular? When do you say the matrix is singular? When the diagonal no, elements no. are one. No. Determinants are one. Zero. Yes. When I determinant of the matrix is zero, then matrix A is singular. So they given to you A is singular. Therefore, it's determinant 4, 3, 1, 7, K, 1, 10, 9, 1 should be 0. Should See, be zero. determinant will have value. Matrix has no value. You have to keep it in square bracket. Notice that. If you put vertical bracket, then it has value. Matrix have no value. Determinant has value. So if the value of the matrix is 0, that means value of the matrix means determinant is zero, then it's singular. So 4K minus 36 become plus nine, you become 63 minus 10K. So minus 6K will be 63 minus, minus 27, 27, 72 minus 36. So K is 6, right or wrong? Mm. So if value of K is 6, then the matrix is a singular matrix. Yes, sir. Next question. If A is equal to 5, 1, minus 1, 3, 2, 0. First calculate 
A transpose. Then calculate A transpose transpose. And what is your conclusion? So what will be A transpose? What to do for transpose? Interchange. It should be three two zero and five one one. Five one minus uh, one. Five one mi minus one should be the first row, first column. Hmm. Three two zero should be the second. Now take transpose of transpose. This it will be A again, now, sir. What happened? It will be A again, now. A transpose of transpose. Ah, it will come back to the same. Correct, no? Yes. So yes. what is the conclusion? A transpose, whole transpose is A itself. So this is a property. A transpose, transpose is A itself. Sir, so one minute, can you show me the previous page? Yes. <clears throat> 